Hello YouTube, this is just a short update for today. It's almost 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm up all day and working. And here is the racing red V gauge. And uh, as you might know, you live and learn. And on the black one, you cannot see the red LED from the GPS module. So I will have to cover that up because it will be annoying. It looks not nice like it is now. Plus once it starts receiving a signal it will start blinking once a second. And nobody wants to get annoyed with that especially if it's this bright. So the slight orange glow you see here is the LiPo battery charging. And uh, I did not change the codes. I will make another video tomorrow and change the codes, the bottom three ones. So you can see what else can be on there. Uh, it's hard to see in the video because my camera washes off the blue. This is blue and the top is yellow blue. It looks much more bluish in person. Maybe we can get a better shot tomorrow. And... Uh, let me just hook up the RPM real quick to show you that display too. Uh, I should have done this before. Okay, here we go. So as you see, I might also show some different colors for the shift light. Anyhow, this is the red version, racing red, and that's the midnight black. And, uh, well, it's only two minutes. Let me show you how it looks inside. If you're interested, stay with me. Turn this off. These are HDMI, HDMI cables. Uh, this is a 2.0, which has connections from all 19 pins, including the outside, which makes it 20. And I bought a whole bunch of other wires, which go out the back, down or up, to mount them easier. Let me show you one second. So this was a flat cable that I picked up or ordered actually, it came from China and I figured this would be easier to mount somewhere or hide it or whatever and I thought point, no not point, 1.4 HDMI version 1.4 would connect all the pins in there but it does not. So I have a whole bunch of wires, cables, and I need to buy new ones with 2.0. I already did order some today. And I also had this one. This is also unfortunately 1.4. And But the advantage with this is you can have the wire running out the back of the gauge. And you can get 90 degrees, 270 degrees to mount them down or up if you have it like... Uh, up in your windshield on the top you can have the wire go out the top and to the side and then run it down your pillar uh, what I forgot to tell and show is also I thought of a way to have a sunshade for this for the V-gauge which will be a piece of plastic sheet which will connect it either on the back on the mounting screws this is by the way the metal plate for the magnetic holder I'm sorry I got stuff all over the place so once you have it like this you put it like that and you have it in your car because since it has a battery that's the show off mode you can have it like that so I figured first I was gonna make a dock for this 
so you would have to plug it in but the dock would be wider than this and it would just not have worked out and this is just perfect it's like a five second installation so that's that so the sunshade oh it's not gonna fit from the back it's gonna go like this and then you're gonna have the this place covered by the shade so the sun won't interfere what I also forgot to mention is before the top will be covered and uh, so it will be flush I was gonna cut a uh, acrylic piece with, on, between there but I could not find a company yet without jumping to thousand hoops to get a price so I will 3D print it in uh, transparent ABS of course and it will look something like this this is transparent but it gets milky once it's done so of course I can do it with black ABS also that we will see I will also if it's gonna be going on a bike which I will have this I want to have it in my car and on my bike on my Street Fighter project that I could not finish yet uh, it will get a CNC aluminum aluminum aluminium <laughs> depending where you live uh, enclosure with a Gorilla Glass in the front if I find, can find a comp company that can cut it in this shape so if not um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to cut it myself and uh, let it focus a little bit doesn't anyhow so this is the HDMI it's uh, actually foolproof because it goes in only one way and this is your breakout board same thing here let me unplug it right quick and today in the car I had it only connected with three wires plus minus and the RPM input the 12 volt for the voltmeter it gets directly from here and then you have separate inputs for the other displays analog or digital and on the analog ones I don't know if it's going to be able to show it here the analog ones will have 0 to 5 volt input or with a voltage divider up to 12 volt input actually it's more than 12 volt it's like 16 or 17 volt that you can just uh, change here so you can put it on 5 volt or 12 volt and the way I'm gonna do it is those are thicker wires and actually those are jumper wires not jumper wires how they're called can't remember right now uh, I did make the screw terminals on purpose to the inside so you can wire it from the inside and then it will go out to the side same here HDMI connector gets connected to the side and here also I do have some enclosures that will be used for the black box that's why I'm calling it a black box because it is black so all I need to do is drill a hole here for the rotor encoder <coughs> excuse me this is the rotor encoder to adjust the shift light and I showed this today in my car about the options you have and uh, this will have all the outputs or inputs they are numbered 1 to 1 to 20 and here is my cheat sheet that I wrote down what what is of course I will make a wiring diagram and a schematic showing it so this is just for my table to try right now anyhow this is the black box I'm talking about and then you can uh, get a cable with the plug that you want you can also get adapters like these guys but they're kind of clumsy I would rather buy other wires cables again that are uh, 
angled 90 degree or 270 or depending on what you want I will of course not uh, have all the wires in stock I will just send it with a basic probably straight wire and then depending on your setup uh, you can change it the way you want oh I was gonna change this I think I was gonna did say that so here's my motion control screwdriver that I just love goes it has two eight screws in the front eight in the back I just love the screwdriver oh what I also did see those are all individual neopixels and uh, since the PCB gets drilled with a bit you don't have square 90 degree corners you have like rounded corners and before going in there and rounding or squaring out all the corners for the neopixels I just uh, get the corners of the neopixels on the display I do of course because I cannot cut glass I do go in with my Japanese exacto knife and just make them 90 degrees so the displays will fit nice and snug and uh, yes what I was telling in another video was that I was gonna uh, solder the wire on here because I thought I don't have enough room between the come on please focus between the navigation switch and the connector but uh, since I made it a little thicker than previously thought because of the HDMI connector which is 6.19 millimeter high so I had to go to 6 millimeter actually there are some washers on, underneath here 0.3 millimeter washers so I get a distance 6.3 millimeters plus the 3.2 from the two PCBs makes 9.5 so that's how thick this is so I could make luckily uh, I could solder the connector on here because to solder these wires that would be uh, almost impossible not by hand by any means and I cannot put this or hold it there and put it in the reflow oven it just doesn't work and all those neopixels are soldered by hand because there's a tiny gap between the neopixel and the PCB because they're halfway in the PCB so what I also do is uh, paint the sides of the neopixels black I did also the inside of the PCB painted the black with a marker I did not do the outside yet anyhow uh, this is how you can see inside I'm not gonna connect it right now uh, I also have four LEDs here these are green for turn signal you can use this one is red for any emergency oil or whatever and the top one is blue for your high beam and uh, if it's gonna be a gauge for a motorcycle one of them will be green for the neutral light anyhow I think I did cover some of the things that I forgot today to say so the sides will be closed for any uh, weatherproofing applications it will get a CNC aluminum case which will of course add to the price and uh, I just had a viewer suggest to make it with uh, to make it look even better with the carbon fiber but that's gonna be I think quite expensive plus there is no carbon fiber PCB so I would put, would need to put the carbon fiber on top of it but then the, the displays would be too much inside and I want it to be flush 
as you can see here so if I have a glass in front of it it will be nice and clean so this is it guys uh, my next video will be about the codes I have so far that I want to put on there or that you can choose from and if you do have any questions please uh, leave them in the comment or get in touch with me I'm sure you know how so this was the I was gonna say nightshade I don't know where I got that from the sunshade of course so it will be like a reminds me of the 20th and 30s in America for the hats they had for the ladies somehow <laughs> anyhow um blabbering because I'm tired I had only three hours sleep today okay this is it V gauge in racing red or midnight black I call it so it's matte black but I call it midnight black anyhow I think I said enough thanks for watching and take care everybody and good night